Before we start this video properly, I thought I would show you Woolton Farmers Market, which has been on today, and uh, traffic here has been really busy, so I've decided to walk rather than drive. So this market is set up in Allerton Road, and uh, it's alongside what used to be Lodes Pond, it's now a, now a sunken car park but uh, it's been very popular today ok so to escape the uh, hullabaloo of um, the farmers market I'm going to take a walk to the other end of Allerton Road and have a sit down in the grounds of St Mary's Church and we'll have a chat about what this video is going to be about When I made my video about Wilson Village, which was way back in 2019 now, I can't believe all that time's gone. Anyway, when I made my video about Wilson Village, um, I mentioned that not much had changed, that some of the shops had changed hands, but basically the overall look of the village was exactly the same in 2019 as it was in 1960 when I moved here but that's not quite true because I missed one huge thing out and well people commented oh I missed this out and I missed that out and things that I didn't even know or I didn't film somebody's house or I didn't film somebody's school um, I did actually miss out a huge chunk of Walton's history that nobody mentioned and picked up on but there used to be a very large factory just down there and um, I'm going to steal some photos off the internet and do a little bit of a history of the former factory that used to be on the site just down the road on the other side of uh, Quarry Street. This is High Street. I'm uh, heading towards the entrance of the former factory that uh, I want to talk about but the people that you'll see soon are uh, volunteers who are working on Walton in Bloom which um, keeps the whole of Walton Village and especially this area um, full of flowers through the spring and summer and uh, they really do make the village look a very very nice place so the history behind this um, factory is a little bit brief because a lot of documents that relate to the factory seem to have been removed from the internet. But basically, a Mr. Howard Ford 
started his hosiery business by importing stockings from a company in Chicago, United States, called Bear Brand Hosiery. Sometime after he started importing these women's stockings and tights, Mr Ford bought the trade name Bird Brand for use in the United Kingdom and ERA, which at that time was the Republic of Ireland, and he started manufacturing stockings on this site here in Woolton. And here we have a photograph which was taken um, in 1934, so it says, um, obviously taken from a from a plane which was possibly hired from um, somebody operating out of Liverpool Airport because a lot of press photographers used to do that back in the day. So the factory was definitely here according to um, the internet in 1934. So obviously he started his business quite some time before that. During the war, the factory turned its hand to producing parachutes and thousands and thousands were made here in uh, support of the war effort. Now there seems to be some um, suggestion that there was financial problems for the factory as long ago as the 1970s um, because parts of the factory started to be let out to other small businesses. So something was going wrong, even back then. Um, but whatever it was, they seemed to trade through it, probably through taking rents off small businesses helped pay the bills. So the company traded through the 1970s, the 1980s, and into the 1990s. But again, they must have hit some sort of financial problem because they went to the government and asked for a loan or a grant of, I believe, £350,000 to help them continue trading. And for whatever reason, best known to the government, I guess, um, the plan was turned down and the factory closed, people lost their jobs and eventually the, uh, the factory was put up for sale and later it was demolished. In 1997 work began to demolish the former Bear Brand factory to make way for this Tesco supermarket. A lot of villagers fought a battle to halt the plan and even won support from the council. A number of public meetings were held to discuss various plans, but Carter Commercial Development appealed and a government inspector decided that the scheme should go ahead. So, since 1997, this site has been a Tesco supermarket. Now, as you can see, the Tesco store sits in a dip and so did the former Bear Brand factory and I think in places it was three, four, maybe even five stories high in parts but it was pretty obscure from the main road if you walk down uh, High Street in Walton you, you wouldn't really notice it but what was noticeable was the chimney that's the part of the building that I remember the most that from Menlove Avenue and the bottom end of um, High Street, you couldn't really miss the, the tall chimney. Very much like the tan yard which featured in my Garston video, Bear Brand employed a lot of local people and also generations of local people. Many people worked with members of their family there. And it seems to have been a very happy place to work, where the, the, uh, the owners looked after their employees. But like the tan yard, for whatever reason, time moves on and um, 
those places become very much forgotten and uh, I forgot all about it and I would have passed it for years and years and years and um, you get used to the lay of the land you get used to the fact that this is now a Tesco and you forget what was here before anyway I've now covered it it's now been remembered and um, thank you very much for watching we'll catch you up soon <laughs>